Now we're also following new developments in the shooting death of a seven-year-old girl on the west side. A fourth person has been arrested and police are now searching for a fifth. Kezia Holmes is accused of tampering with evidence. Edward Garcia has an active warrant for accessory after the fact. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is urged to contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. The search comes as loved ones of Haiti Rivas Villanueva laid her to rest this afternoon. She was shot in the head two Saturdays ago while she and her family were outside a West Side Strip Mall waiting for her mother to finish grocery shopping. News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris joins us live now from the funeral home in Orange Park where a second service just ended for the little girl. Janice. Yes, that second service ended, but during those services, they passed out this card that says in loving memory of Haiti. You know, this photo was actually taken by her family while she was at a father-daughter dance with her dad, who was very heartbroken today, as well as her mother and her entire family, even strangers coming to show their respects to this beautiful seven-year-old girl. No. With every step toward Haiti's casket, her father and mother's pain seems to grow deeper. For more than a week, her parents have been living a nightmare after the innocent seven-year-old girl was shot and killed by a stray bullet during a shootout in a shopping center on 103rd. Today, her family remained silent. Her mother and father weeped as Haiti rested in a white and pink casket surrounded by an array of pink flowers and her family, heartbroken by the reality that Haiti is gone. A priest said in Spanish, today we are sending a little angel to the house of God. That seven-year-old angel will not be buried in Florida. Her family hopes to send her back to Honduras for burial. Father Villa says those who loved Haiti must now support her family as they carry the burden of her loss. It's a moment very difficult. He says, it's a moment that's really difficult. It's true that death is very sad, and those who believe know that life doesn't end, that it transforms. And again, just to clarify, Haiti will not be buried here in Florida. They want to actually have her body shipped back to Honduras. They're trying to raise $30,000 to do that through a GoFundMe page. So far, about $17,000 has already been raised. They still need that additional $13,000. Other fundraisers will be happening in the community to help and contribute to that. However, we have that GoFundMe page linked on this story on our website, newsforjacks.com, if you would also like to contribute. Live in Orange Park, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Janice. And our coverage continues on newsforjax.com. We've posted a photo of the fifth suspect police are now searching for in Haiti's murder. And we also have information on the three young men who were arrested last week.